Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to teach you how to update to the latest iOS 12. So we're going to be updating to iOS 12. And first of all, go into your settings. Under your settings, I want you guys to make a backup. So right up here, I see my iCloud. Go into there and manually make a backup. If you guys have no more space on your iCloud, just like me, 5 gigs, just not enough. Just hook it up to your computer. Use iTunes. iTunes is a free program for both PC and Mac okay you can make your backup there and you guys don't have to worry about those five gigs that you only get in iCloud so make that backup and then what you guys want to do is go into general after general you guys will see the second option where it says software update and we will see this iOS 12 okay so that is 1.37 gigs so make sure to have at least three well not even three gigs I would say four gigs of space just to be comfortable. Um, if you guys have four gigs of space, go ahead, download and install. So once we press download and install, it's gonna ask us for a passcode if you guys have a passcode set up. Once you guys put that in, it's gonna first download, okay? So just press agree. Agree again, and there we go, okay. So like I said, it's gonna download first. That's gonna take a little bit. We shouldn't take more than 30 minutes for most of you. Then it's gonna install. So during the download process, it doesn't really matter if your iPhone, iPad, or touch just shuts down for some reason. It's okay. It's no big deal. Um, however, if it's installing and then in the installation process, it shuts down or something happens during installation, then you guys might have to restore it. And then restoring means that you'll be erasing everything from your iPhone, iPad, or touch, okay? It's gonna erase everything. And that's why I told you guys to make that backup, because if you guys do have to do that, restore it, you guys can just load your backup and you won't lose anything. So that's why it's really important to make that backup. Um, so right now, it's gonna take a while for it to download. Once it downloads, um, it's just gonna say installing. Again, download process, doesn't really matter. It can turn off or whatever. Um, installation process very important so even if you have 100% battery I always recommend just having hooked up to some electricity and just let it do its thing just let it download download install it's gonna install by itself if it's hooked up okay if you guys don't have enough battery you might not even install you guys will have to actually press install but um, if you guys are just waiting for it like me right now then we're just gonna wait and then we're gonna have to press install ourselves. So installs iOS 12. Now your iPhone should, should, okay, restart. Um, once it restarts, you guys will see a black screen. Um, then you guys will see the Apple logo loading up. Then a loading bar, okay? Once we see the loading bar, we will see the entire process where it's just the loading bar going in and out. We start again and then we're gonna get back into our iPhones. Okay guys, so like I said, once it downloads, you guys will have the option to install right now. It's gonna automatically install if you guys are connected to some electricity and um, if you have Wi-Fi, it's all good. Just press install now and we're gonna see that it's just gonna restart. Once the update is complete, it's gonna ask you for your code in order to access your iPhone, iPad, or touch, okay? So just put in your code and then you guys will see this. It will say update completed, okay? So just going to continue. And at this point, I always, always suggest going for the second option where it says down here, install updates manually. You guys do want that, trust me, because if you guys do this automatically, then it's gonna do it exactly just like that, automatically, and that will be a problem. It's gonna be a big problem just because you guys will not know when it's gonna update. So it might update overnight once you guys have it charging and um, the next morning, who knows, it might have crashed or something. You guys will not know what happened or when it happened. So always, always install any updates manually. So I'm gonna select that option. Then you guys have this. Okay, so you guys can set that up right now or later. So we're actually gonna see that uh, most of you are actually going to skip this and uh, some of you will want to set it up. So it's really up to you guys what you guys do at this point. After that, you guys can just go into get started and you're all done. So that's it. You guys will see that there's no humongous changes right now. 
but uh, you guys, once you guys get to using your iPhone iPad Auto Touch, you guys will see the differences. But off the bat, you guys will not see any differences on the screen itself. But um, again, like I said, you guys will see differences once you start using apps and loading time and all that stuff. You guys will see some differences, okay? Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.